How would you rate Scotland's ambition on digital inclusion? I think our ambition on digital inclusion is really good and the figures speak for themselves. For example, we're um, ahead of England when it comes to the percentage of people in this country that have essential digital skills. And I want to see us build on that. I want to make sure that in trying to ensure no one's left behind, it's incumbent on us to equip everybody to have the digital skills they need to thrive in the future and to support businesses and organisations have the digital capabilities to thrive in what is an international market. Do you think the benefits will outweigh the challenges in terms of an adapting workforce and trying to protect people from potential unethical AI? Well, it's incumbent on us to get it right. And I think that if we ensure that we have an ethical framework for the use of data and we take people with us when it comes to AI, then the benefits will far outweigh the challenges. But that won't happen automatically. That's why we need to work collectively. We need to work with industry, businesses, communities, trade unions to ensure that we get it right. AI is here to stay. We can't control whether or not it's an issue. It is an issue. And the important thing for us is to get the benefits of that for the people of Scotland and not allow big tech companies, for example, to impose what they want to see the future is on Scotland. It can be difficult for people to grapple with AI. So people think, you know, dystopian futures of robots and flying cars. If you think, have you seen the uh, programme Humans? or Black Mirror, they start thinking about the worst case scenario. So do you have an AI future in mind that people can imagine and can you give us some examples? Well I think when it comes to AI we often focus on that sort of dystopian future of what we might see. But actually AI is here already and many of us have AI in our homes already. So you know, if that's Apple's Siri or Microsoft's Cortana or Amazon's Echo, um, they're here already, uh, and that's an example of AI. What I want to see is the use of AI in the public sector to improve people's lives. And we have some of the technologies already, but it's about embedding it. So I've already seen examples of where AI has been used really effectively when it comes to health and social care, about improving outcomes. And it also often saves money so that we can reinvest that in frontline uh, health services. So we see it already, I want to grow and develop that within an ethical framework to make sure that at the end of the day the care that people receive on the front line is better than it is today. And have you yourself got anything else to add? I think this is a hugely exciting area but ultimately we want to hear what you think and our AI strategy will only be as strong as the people who have fed into it. So if you want to get involved and share your thoughts, then check out the Data Labs website, come along to our engagement events and contribute to the consultation because we want our AI strategy to be designed around the people of Scotland. So please do send us your thoughts.